if I have eight paddocks to graze, how often can I put them back in the first paddock? What is the days? Adaptive grazing and regenerative grazing is not about set size paddocks at all. We can either use temporary fencing, which is super easy to do and very, very quick to do. Most paddocks can be built in five to 10 minutes or less. And in the case of like the Birdwell and Clark Ranch, where they're moving five to 8,000 head, they're building those paddocks in 30 minutes or less. Yeah, so this doesn't take long. So what you're going to do is you're going to estimate the total pounds that you're feeding in your herd or your flock, and then you're going to estimate the amount of available forage dry matter per acre. And then you're going to build each paddock according to the needs of the livestock and the amount of forage dry matter you have available. And that's what you do every day. Now, in terms of how often you return, that's going to vary. And, and it should vary. If, if you return very prescriptively, like every 21 days or 30 days or 40 days, then you're not going to make progress. Okay, you're just not. You're going you're gonna to hit a wall, you're going to stagnate, and then you're going to start going backwards. Prescriptive methodologies in agriculture just simply do not work long term. That's why we, we have to be adaptive in what we do. So just super quick, the general rule of thumb is this. You have to first have plant recovery after a grazing event. And a recovered plant is a plant that every individual grass plant has at least four fully formed blades of grass that come out to a sharp tip or point, no blunt edges. That's recovery, okay? But recovery does not build diversity. It doesn't add additional root depth and root biomass and shoot biomass. It doesn't add any of that. It just takes you back to the original state, okay? So then you gotta add rest on top of recovery. So let's just say that it took 25 days for the plant to fully recover from the grazing event, you need, to, you need to double that. You need to add at least another 25 days of rest. So now you got 50 days before you need to be back there. Now once you really get into that and you start doing that, the results become rather remarkable. And just by doing that one thing, you will grow more grass.